So I forgot to put in my 25 week video about um, have an update on the pelvic pains that I, that I was having. Um, so I'm just going to make this a separate little video. Um, my, I, t I talked to my doctor about it because like I said, if anybody doesn't know, um, before I'm still getting those pains, but it was a couple weeks ago, three or two or three weeks ago, I believe. And, um, it was during a week where I was doing a lot and I don't know if that triggered it or what, but I started getting really bad pelvic pain, like how I felt when I was about to deliver Adri. And, um, like, it was bad. Um, it was so bad that I was limping or barely walking. I couldn't even walk up the steps. It was so bad. Um, and it feels like my legs are coming off. or It feels, just feels really loose. And it's painful all at the same time. And so, I was so tempted for, like, a week to call the doctor. But I just, I just went, just went through it or whatever. Um... So I talked to her yesterday when I went about it, and she said that um, she recommends me to take physical therapy. So I'm going to look into physical therapy, and I looked it up on the internet, and it's actually popular, well, common, not popular, I shouldn't say popular, but common for um, pregnant women to take physical therapy. Um, so... I know a lot has to do with it too. Uh, I don't exercise like I should. I'm always up and on the go, but I don't have to do the like 30 minute cardio a day like I'm supposed to do. So that could have something to do with it. Um, I am almost 28 years old. I'll be 28 on the 8th, so I'm getting up there. My body is not the same as it used to be, so I really need to start a routine. So just to let others know, especially pregnant women, or if you're going to get pregnant, it is really important to be in shape and to get your body ready for it. So, physical therapy is going to help with stretching and all that stuff. I don't I don't know if it's going to cure the pain, because at night it gets so bad. It's like, if I lay on one side, I only can lay on, uh, I have to, because I can't lay on my back, which is comfortable, or my stomach, which is comfortable. That's how I normally sleep, I'm a stomach sleeper. So, if I'm laying on one side, I wake up, oh, I'm in so much pain. Like, I can't even explain it. It hurts so bad. It's numb, all of that. So, then I'll turn to the other side, and I'll wake up not too um, long not too long after, and same thing, same pain. So, it's like, in the morning time, I've had it. So, I'm laying, like, sitting up, just sitting up like this, and it just feels so much better. It's like, I don't know what it is. I don't, I don't know. And, um, but it feels so much better to just sit there, but it's not comfortable to sleep like that. It just feels better. The pain is, it has gone away, but it's not comfortable to sleep like that. I use the belly pillow, the body pillow, and I get the same pain. It doesn't help. So, um, and then she told me to get a, a belly band. And she said that, um, my uterus could be putting a lot of pressure down there too. So the belly band would hold my uterus up so I'm going to do that and try that I'm going to um, look into the physical therapy because um, I think our insurance takes it so I will be calling them today to see about that um, and then maybe it would even be more beneficial to, to, to labor and delivery but something I have, to get, I have to do something because it's like at night it, during my sleep or at, in the evening after the day is over, I, I'm in pain. I can barely walk or I'm limping. And I'm just like, so like over it because I'm not even near delivering. I don't even know how how much worse it could get. So I'm going to get that um, fixed up or taken care of pretty soon. So we'll see. And I'll keep updated on if I go to physical therapy and how it goes. So that's that little update, but I forgot to put it in the other video, so I will see you next week, again, for 26 weeks, so bye.